Cambodia, Asiatus, Pictiventris, as I remember correctly. Um, so yeah, the coloration they have can vary quite a bit. You can see this one is more brown and then you have like reddish is basically the color of the bands and just a bit of reddish on the on the underside there. And so yeah, these guys, they can look completely black um, when they're dry sometimes. And then when they get wet, you can, that's actually only the time when you can see the pattern properly. So yeah, quite interesting. We only found this snake. It was hiding in a little bush, but we only found it because a hawk was actually trying to eat it and had jumped down and was looking at the bush and we were wondering if there's something in it. So we waited for the hawk to do something and he just flew off and then we checked the bush and there was actually the snake in there and he couldn't get to it. So he abandoned his chase basically. So yeah, now we're just gonna let it go back on its way and hope it doesn't encounter another hawk. All right guys, so the bird decided to abandon its meal. It's probably gonna come back anyway. I think some other birds actually disturbed it because it got too close to their nest. So as you can see the head is still there, but the lower jaw is missing. Um, it is a water snake. It's a Florida water snake. And you can see it actually started eating already here behind the head on the vertebrae. All the meat is missing and See, it's got a nasty gash there in its side, but yeah, pretty pretty hefty snake. So yeah, see that's what's left.